Hey guys, what is up? Bhavishya Singla here. In today's video, I will show you how to make an interactive dashboard using Tableau. As you can see, we will be making this dashboard in our today's video. This is an interactive dashboard I made with the help of Tableau. And in the end of the video, you will get a shareable link to a dashboard. To your dashboard which you will be making alongside with me. Okay, you will be making exact same dashboard and you can share this link in your project section in your LinkedIn profile as well. As you can see, this is my LinkedIn and uh, you can search Bhushya Singla and follow me there as well. And here under projects section, I have pasted this link. I have shared this link here under the title of my first tableau dashboard and you can share this link like i have shared here when i click on this link same this dashboard will be opened up as you can see just wait a minute it will take some time as you can see this is same dashboard which i have opened here we will be making exact same dashboard okay so let's get started to make this video to make a dashboard, we need two things, a Tableau software and data. The software you can download the free version of Tableau called Tableau Public. I have provided its link in description box as well as pinned comment. And data, its link I have also provided in description box. So you can download the data from here. I have provided a data of an e-commerce site. As you can see, you will get the exact same data there. This is a, some scary looking data, but we will be making it very easy with the help of Tableau and make, an, make it in the form of an interactive dashboard so that a normal person can also understand which is not from a technical background. Okay. After downloading this Tableau software, you will be... Let me just open the Tableau software, my, my Tableau software. You will get some this kind of interface this is a dashboard which i have shown you just now i will be making it again for demonstration purposes after downloading the microsoft excel file which i have provided you can just go to here to a file and then import the file from here i have the microsoft file in my download section when i go to there and just click on it this kind of inter interface will be opened up. This is a data source and we have sheets here. We can make different sheets with the help of this icon. We will be making four charts. So I have just opened four sheets here and data source. First of all, we need to provide Tableau with the data on which we need to make charts. So like I have opened a Microsoft sheet here, right? And these are different sheets which are present in Microsoft Excel. As you can see, I have orders, returns, people. We will be only using orders sheet here. Okay, so let's get started. To provide Tableau with data, you just have to drag this and drop it here. So that Tableau get the data on which we will be making the charts. As you can see, this is all the data which I have just shown you in Tableau. Okay. And now we will be making a heat chart first. Okay. We will be making this chart first. So let's get started. We need country here. We will just drag country from table section to this here. As you can see a map of USA is here. Now we will be dragging states in this. So different states get highlighted. After that, we will be dragging profit to color section. So that different states get differentiated by how much profit they make. Like red being the least profit making and uh, dark blue means the highest profit making states. Okay. And uh, as you can see, I cannot see the names of uh, states here. For that, we will just drag state to label section and now as you can see I can see the 
नेम ऑफ स्टेट्स एंड आई विल जस्ट रीनेम द शीट एज हीट मैप इन शीट टू वी विल मेक अ बार चार्ट लेट मी शो यू हेयर वी विल मेकिंग दिस बार चार्ट वी हैव सब कैटेगरीज हेयर एंड वी हैव प्रॉफिट हेयर and we will make a bar chart according to this so we will just drag and drop sub categories to this section and we have profit to this section as you can see this is a bar chart you can change it to vertical one by just dragging and dropping to different rows and column like we can just like if i drag सब कैटेगरी टू कॉलम एंड प्रॉफिट टू रोज आई गेट हॉरिजोंटल बार चार्ट बट इफ आई ड्रैग प्रॉफिट टू कॉलम्स एंड सब कैटेगरी टू रोज आई गेट अ वर्टिकल बार चार्ट एंड अब विल बी ड्रैगिंग प्रॉफिट टू कलर्स सो दैट वी कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट हाउ मच प्रॉफिट इज जनरेटेड एंड हाउ मच लॉस इज बींग देयर विद द हेल्प ऑफ कलर्स एज वेल ओके now we have made a sheet to we will name it bar chart now we will go back to heat map and as you can see when i hover over different states a white box appear in front of right in front which provides the information like country state and profit which is it making okay we need a different thing we need to uh, make it show more information we as uh, you can see here when i hover over this i see a bar chart as well so let's do that okay for that we will just go to tulip section as you can see this is all the things which we see right we need to add more thing to it, more things to it right a bar chart we need to add a bar chart here i will press enter here because i need to show it on top let me just tell you what i mean as you can see first we see a bar chart then we see country state and profit right same is the thing with this if i right bar chart here i will see bar chart under it under uh, first this information is shown then bar chart will be shown but i want to uh i want bar chart in the front in the top of the section of uh, the hover so we will just press enter and place bar chart here we will uh, insert use insert we will insert a sheet we will insert a bar chart here and we will press okay now as you can see when i hover over different states i see a bar chart as well isn't it amazing we can see all the data but in such visual format which make it very easy for us to analyze the data and predict what will happen and what actions need to be taken for company to be profitable and what more right and then we will make our let's see what we have to make a line chart okay we will make a line chart here for that let me just rename the sheet here line chart let's see what information does it show us it shows profit to month of order date okay let's do that we need profit first we will just drag profit and place it here and we need date right where we have ordered it here it is order date we will just place it here as you can see this is a line chart sorry we need this here and this here. as you can see this is a line chart but it shows in year we need it in months so you just have to go and hover over uh, years order date and just press this little arrow and here you get different bunch of options we will select month here as you can see now we have an whole working line chart here okay and i need like the same thing which we did in heat map i all i will do this in bar chart as well i need line chart to be shown in this tool tip so let's do this tool tip i will just enter and i will just insert a line chart here okay and okay and now as you can see when i hover over this i see a line chart sub category and profit 
I get these information out of this. Okay, with this we have complete. Uh, we have made three charts. Now we will make the last chart, which is called scatter plot. Okay, for that, let's see which information we need. We need sales. We need profit. We have subcategories here with different shapes and colors, right? Let's do that. We have sales. We have profit. Let's do this like this. Okay. And now we have order ID here. I will just drag it and drop it here. As you can see, the order ID which is above zero, it means we have uh, these are profit making order items. And these are loss making below zero. These are loss making items, so that a company can just do uh, can tell what products to sell and what not to sell. Okay, and now just we will drag sub category in color section, and then sub category in shape section. So we have different shapes representing different items. But I don't know what these items are. We have to every time we have to see this labels and these all things. I don't want that. So I will just drag subcategory again and press uh, drop it and label. And now we can see labels as well. That machines are are loss making items and copiers are most profitable items we have. Okay. Now we have made all this bunch of charts. Let's just compile it in a dashboard like this and make a shareable link so that you can also share your dashboard on your LinkedIn or anywhere you if you want to show it. Okay, you can also tag me in LinkedIn when you share this uh, your dashboard so that I can also see how you made your dashboard. Okay, and now to make dashboard, we will click here. We will size it to automatic and now we will drag our sheets one by one to here and make it according to our preference. Okay. You just have to drag it and drop it. Okay. It's easy. We'll make it floating type. Let me show you what I did. You can rewind it. Okay. We just have to press it here. First title is being shown, but I don't want to show the title. So I just pressed on this title and the title goes away. And I made it floating so that we can change it. Right. We can resize it. Okay. So it's easy for us to make it more engaging. Right. You can also increase the size of the map here. All the data is being shown. This is very interactive dashboard. Okay, and now we will just drag and drop bar chart here. We will also make it floating so that it is easier for us. Okay, and now as you can see, I made this right here, and then line chart. Make it floating type. I don't want the title here, so I will remove the title and just do it according to what I want. And the last but not least, scatter plot, right? I will just make it floating type. Where is floating? Here it is. I'll drag it, drop it here. I don't want all this stuff. I will just cross it. Extra stuff I just don't need it. And I don't want title as well. This title scatter plot. So I will just remove the title from here and make it according to the size I want. Okay. As you can see, we have made a dashboard here. Now just we need a link to share it so that other people can also see our work. Okay. So let's get started. For that, you just have to go on files. You have to save to Tableau public. Click on save to Tableau public. 
you will get a sign in option you just have to sign in i have already done you just have to provide with the basic details now it is asking for a title let me write it to to real one and we will save it it is preparing after just a little while we will get a link as you can see this is a dashboard tutorial 1 by bhavishya singla which i have made this is an interactive dashboard when i hover over this i see different bar charts i have different bar charts here as well when i hover over this i see different data and i can analyze different ones of stuff right and you can share this by clicking on share button and copying this link you can place uh, it in your linkedin profile or you can share it with your you know different you can showcase your expertise in tableau that you can also make a interactive dashboard and you have a knowledge enough knowledge to make an interactive dashboard and you know the basics of tableau right so thank you for watching bye bye tata